Hi, folks. We're going to free the endophytes. Uh, <clears throat> all around the world, plants are present on our landscape. These are the biggest boab trees, for instance, in the world, and they live in southwestern Madagascar. Gorgeous plants. And every one of the plants that you'll see in these photos, you could imagine that there are microbes associated with them. Here in northeast Madagascar are the Indri Indris, the largest lemurs alive in the world today. They're the only mammals outside of us that have deep blue sparkling eyes. Trees in the uh, Amazon are huge. My wife is shown over here on the far left. Can you imagine? That baby is big. Every one of these plants, the leaves, the fruits, the stems, the roots, the fruits are loaded with microorganisms, even in the Ecuadorian cloud forests, which is uh, the cloud forests are few and far between on our earth. We find endophytes. Doesn't this look haunting? Ah, Fitzroy in southern Patagonia. All of you have seen this great moniker of the Patagonian clothing company. But in every one of these cases, the thing that graces the landscape are the plants. In this case, small, low-flung low flung plants uh, uh, <clears throat> in the foothills as well as uh, climbing up the sides of the mountains. Here, Torres del Paine, a little bit south of Fitzroy, on the Chilean-Argentine border, one of the greatest, most scenic mountain ranges on the entire earth. Plants have endophytes. Let's continue with our pictorial scheme of where these plants live. Here, uh, in Foz Iguazu, one of the most beautiful waterfalls on the whole earth, plants are constantly being watered by the mist of of this great waterfall. And, uh, of course, other waterfalls also are great places for finding plants. Here in the Indio Maiz in Nicaragua, one of the greatest areas of, uh, of, of, of uh, it's a bioreserve, and it's one of the greatest areas in all of Central America. Going up the river in a canoe is a wonderful experience as the holler monkeys come down out of the bush Oh, 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 oh. They do. <laughs> the Bungle Bungles and the Kimberleys, uh, representative of a monsoonal uh, rainforest. There's no place on earth like the Bungle Bungles. This is something you should be challenged to look up on the internet when you get home. And not to leave out the diptocarp forest of Borneo with uh, the, the big diptocarp trees, some of which have these cute little orangutans hanging on them. Well, We've shown you some of the places on Earth where we get plants, and we go to places that have high biodiversity, not only for plants, but uh, uh, we expect where there is diversity in plants, there would be diversity in microbes. Here are native women's, women in the highlands of Papua New Guinea. They're not dressing up for me. This is the way they dress every day. So we have an opportunity to see and meet and interact with people from all over the world. The, large, the highest waterfalls on Earth, the Angel Falls in the Tapui lands of Venezuela. See the falls there on the, on the far left? 3,212 3, feet high. Plants are going and crawling up the, the sides of the Tapuis, and there are even chimneys down in the middle of the Tapui. Not to mention also the temperate rainforests of the Earth, of which there aren't many, but here's uh, an example uh, called the Catlins in southeast uh, uh, New Zealand, on the South Island. So imagine every one of these plants is holding a secret. And so we go to the plant, we take a very small piece of the plant, bring it back to the laboratory and say, what's inside of you? And uh, that means going out with your little red hat, <coughs> taking and cutting a little sample, putting it in a bag, and then plating the, the plant materials out on auger plates, and uh, you'll see that the uh, 
organisms that grow, mostly fungi, have different color patterns, different patterns themselves, and even different smells. That's what an endophyte is. So here's one of the newest ones that we found. We named it called Muscoder crispans. It has a crispy-like appearance. <coughs> that is, it's hyphae, and it makes these cauliflower-like uh, uh, projections from its hyphae. And most importantly, it makes a series of organic molecules that go into the gas phase, and here they are. And if you mix these things up and uh, administer them to yourself, you'll find that these things actually kill most bacteria and most fungi. And so this little mix turns out to be an antibiotic solution. So friends and relatives have volunteered to uh, take some of the, <laughs> what we call it, the stroboscope. And so we've got gum recession, root canals, uh, one case of the, in which it's been applied there. In fact, I, I've taken it constantly for the last three years, and I haven't noticed anything. <laughs> <clears throat> this is one of the best examples of a person who <clears throat> volunteered several years ago with oral candidiasis, a huge case of, of infection. Had been, she, she had been treated for several years, 20 years, and look, after two weeks, she's cured. This is not silly stuff. So over the years, we found antibiotics, antimycotics, anti-cancer agents, and even now, 0.6, fuel-related compounds. In fact, this is probably where most of the oil in the earth came from, these microorganisms associated with plants. Thanks. Thank